not me. No, you have to go a little more to your right. No, no. Uh, he's a little long of nose. No, no. Further to your right. Further to your right. No, there you go. Oh, no. Uh, now he's a little long of neck. <laughs> You're finding the tree. Look for the tree. Uh, no, that's not a tree. Find the tree. There you go. You found the tree. Now, down, down a little more. Now go forward. Forward. Ooh, you're getting warmer. Warmer. Ooh, hotter, hotter. You're burning up. Now up and over and down. Way down. Way, way down. <laughs> Whoa, yes! <sighs> Hello there. Welcome, boys and girls, ladies and gentle bugs. Flick here. You're just in time. We're about to leave this cozy hill and head out on a wild expedition unlike anything you've ever seen. And ants usually don't brag. But lucky you, because I'm the best ant there is to guide you. Okay, I guess ants do brag a little. We'll journey from the dusty savannas of Africa to the teeming jungles and rivers of Asia and even go way back in time to the age of dinosaurs. Ew, I hope you packed your lunch. <laughs> Well, are you ready? Great! Then grab your knapsacks, because we're going on a musical safari right here in Disney's Animal Kingdom! Our first stop is Africa, the second largest continent in the world and home to more kinds of animals than anywhere on Earth. I hope you brought enough film. Hey, here comes the Wildlife Express, right on time. Ants like punctuality. Jumbo, Mickey. Hello, Minnie. Let's take a peek at our first adventurers. What a great group of explorers! Hi! That beautiful lady is Chakoti. She's the best guide in all of Africa. Welcome to Harambe. Are you ready for adventure? Yeah! That's Justin. He's an explorer with more than his share of energy. Yeah, we want to see everything. Oh, and there's Amy. She's always thinking ahead. Hey, you guys, I've got an idea. Let's even take a picture of the most dangerous animal. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. <gasps> And that's Brittany. She's enthusiastic about everything. A photo safari. Great. And I just got a new camera. Kalina loves taking pictures, and she always comes prepared. You could take a picture of me. That's Thea. Always wants to be the center of attention. Come on. And Joshua. He must have tried on at least 20 hats before he picked that one. Let's get going. I know just how you feel, Dominique. Seems like I'm always a couple steps behind, too. Harambe Jumbo, hello, hello. Jumbo, welcome! This is Harambe, a modern-day East African village in the animal kingdom. Harambe means coming together in Swahili, one of hundreds of languages spoken in Africa. This land we roam Welcome 
love to dance in Harambe. We play in the sun in Harambe. We are having a party in Harambe. Come and join the fun. Colorful market. Welcome. We invite you to play. Welcome. To our African village. Welcome. This is Harambe. Love the dancing. Hey, a couple of pill bugs told me there was another parade down by the bridge. Follow me. in Swahili. But wait till you see a real elephant. Oh, by the way, I uh, took this opportunity to get into my explorer gear. How do you like it? Let's see. Uh, hat, sugar, rope, sugar, mmm, sugar. Oh, and my trusty map. You see, we can get the big picture by using this map. That's easy to follow, just kind of hard to fold up when you're done. From Harambe, we're going to Kilimanjaro Safaris to see what we can find. Now, the savanna is home to the world's greatest wealth of wildlife, where huge herds of zebra, rhinoceros, bongos, yes, I said bongos, giraffe and elephant all live side by side in an endless circle of life. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. We'll take this special safari vehicle to see the wildlife up close and personal. It's great because we can stay inside where it's nice and safe, and we can use our cameras to get in close to the action. We're going on a journey. We saved the seat for you. The animals are ready. To show us what they do And they like to sniff the air And to figure out who's there When they sense it's safe To leave their hiding places And we all meet some funny faces On safari, on safari Let's find out what it's all about Safari, on safari, on safari, we're on to something cause the place is jumping. Hey, 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 hey. Send a smile to a crocodile, wink at a giraffe. Sing a tune to a big baboon and see if he or she will laugh. On safari, on safari, we're on safari. Oh, and her baby I'm going for a swim The elephant squirts water Hey, won't you look at him Check out these cheetah spots Hey, can you count the dots? When the lion roars And birdie wings start laughing It's hard to say just what's gonna on safari, on safari, let's find out what it's all about. On safari, on safari, we're on to something because the place is jumping. Send a smile to a crocodile, we get a giraffe. Sing a tune to a big baboon and 
see if he or she will laugh on safari, on safari. has got to be the most ferocious animal in the park. Great shot! That's a rhino, or in Swahili, kifaru. Did you know that a rhino weighs about three tons and is the size of a small car? And he's pretty fast, too. He can run almost 30 miles an hour. I'd like to have that sort of armor when I'm out on the streets. Look out! There he goes! Hey, now there's a handsome zebra. No two zebras have the same pattern, so it's easy to tell them apart. Hey, where'd he go? Just look at that ostrich. To give you an idea of how big the bird is, it's the largest in the world at about 9 feet and 350 pounds. Just one ostrich egg is equal to 24 chicken eggs. And this guy represents us. I mean you, the, the human explorer. You're an animal too, you know. Well, I guess we should be rolling on. Oh! <laughs> He beat us to it. Shh, we're on the Pangani Trail now. And it's a real jungle out there. I mean, it's a real jungle out there. Oh my, look at those gorillas. They look kind of scary, but they're really gentle. Sometimes they wear big leaves on their heads like hats. And our cousin, the orangutan, likes to dress up, too. Let's take a closer look. I want to go to the jungle. I want to get out of town. I dance to that crazy rhythm till the sun goes down. Yeah. I'm going to climb through the treetop. Swing myself back down. And then jump. I want a monkey around. I want to be like you. I want to walk like you, talk like you, too. You see, it's true. Someone like me can learn to be like someone like you. Or a monkey, a chimp or a macaque <laughs> Got that crazy body language You wanna move it like that I can't explain the attraction mm, But I guess it's true The more you seem to be like me The more I wanna, I wanna be, be like you, you. Ooh, I wanna be like you I wanna walk like you Talk like you too You see it's true Someone like me can learn to be like someone like you. is Sakwi in Swahili. And see, she has two arms, two legs, ten fingers. Hmm, she looks a little like you, but much hairier. <laughs> Can you think of any other similarities between animals and people? How about someone who's as quiet as a mouse? Or sly as a fox? Or wise as an owl? Okay now, what does a warthog have that no other animal has? Give up? <laughs> Baby warthogs! <laughs> Get it? Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, when baby animals are born here at the Animal Kingdom, they're sometimes taken care of at the conservation station. This one is of my great, great, great aunt. <laughs> I take after her, don't you think? You must have been a beautiful baby. You must have been a beautiful child. When you were only starting to 
go to kindergarten I know you drove the other kids wild Hey, and when it came to winning blue ribbons I bet you taught the other kids how And I can see the judge's eyes As they handed you the prize I bet you took the cutest bow You must have been a beautiful baby Cause baby, take a look at you now Ah, oh, what a cute baby! The giraffe is called Twiga in Swahili. This one was six feet tall when he was born. That's as big or bigger than your mom or dad is right now. Or at least, my mom and dad. Oops! <laughs> That's better. There's a newborn elephant. I heard they weigh about 250 pounds when they're born, and full grown they weigh between 9,000 and 15,000 pounds. Whew! Better keep out of their way. Now, this next picture is of a very rare, uh, Party animal! <laughs> How did that get in there? Say, uh, let's head over to a place where we can see some animals that roamed the Earth millions of years ago. That's Dinoland USA. Let's check out who the fossil of the day is at the Boneyard. It's a Brachiosaurus! Wow! All the way from the Cretaceous period. Come on, gang! Taurus, huh? Why, some flesh-eating dinosaurs weighed over a ton and were over 50 feet long. But their arms were so short they couldn't even scratch their own chin. Talk about a design flaw. <laughs> they must have had a lot of time on their tiny little hands. Speaking of tiny, some dinosaurs like the Comsognathus were the size of a chicken. And then there was the Saltipus, which was only about the size of a house cat. Whoa! Anyway, most people don't realize there were some other animals around when the dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Of course I'm talking about bugs, like me. <laughs> Here, let me show you some of my home movies, and no laughing, please. It's a 
Bugs World after all. It's a Bugs World. When the moon comes up in the starry skies, we can see the world with a thousand eyes. In the warmth of the spring, when the crickets sing, it's a Bugs World. When the morning dew falls down on our fuzz And we hop, hop, hop And we buzz, buzz, buzz And we fly through the air without ever a care It's a bug's world Underneath a leaf or behind a stone There's a wondrous world the universe unknown From the spider to the flea To the giant bumblebee It's a bug's world Some of us can fly high up in the air Some of us can squeeze into anywhere We can make lines so straight Carry ten times our weight It's a bug's world a grasshopper, probably not the most dangerous animal in the world, but it is kind of cute. Kind of cute? Are you crazy? Personally, I'm not too fond of grasshoppers, but then you probably knew that. Yep, we keep a list back at the anthill of some of our favorite and not so favorite bugs from around the world. Let's check some passports, shall we? You know what they say, know your enemy, and boy do I. That grasshopper can jump up to 30 times the length of his body. The same jump for a human would be half the length of a football field. Woo! This fuzzy fellow finds food wherever he can. He goes to sleep in a cocoon and wakes up as a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> ah, Francis. Just because he's a ladybug doesn't mean he's a lady. No, ma'am. I, I mean, sir. Hey, not bad for a passport photo. I don't mean to brag, but ants like me can carry 50 times our body weight. Uh, that would be the same as a man hauling a rhino on his back. Here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, we're able to go from Africa to Asia in a matter of minutes. Neat, huh? Let's head over to the Maharaja Jungle Trek. Cameras ready? Was that the doorbell? Oh, it's Neaty, our guide. He'll know just where to take us. Asia is the pearl across the sea. 
Tigers are pretty dangerous. They're also the largest and most powerful of the big cats. And unlike other cats, they love to swim. Just look at that dog paddle. And that's a Komodo dragon. They can grow to be almost 10 feet long and weigh about 200 pounds, with tails so strong they can stand on them. What a great party trick. And this little guy is a fruit bat. Some fruit bats have wingspans of up to six feet. They can eat up to three times their body weight in a night and up to 600 bugs an hour. Hmm. Note to self, avoid Maharaja jungle at night time. <sighs> hey, Dominique, you haven't taken a picture yet. Everybody smile. Congratulations. That's the winning picture. You see, sometimes man is the most dangerous animal of all. If he's not careful, some other species of animals can pay the price. Like the black rhino we saw today, who's tracked down by poachers for his horn. Or the African elephant, who sometimes hunted for his valuable ivory tusks. Or the Asian tiger. All of us living on this planet, from the smallest ant or blade of grass, to the tallest giraffe, depend on each other's cooperation to survive. So, for oppressed animals everywhere, it's up to all of us to learn how to conserve our resources, care for our environment, and protect the many different creatures we live with on this incredible planet we call Earth. Hingwanama, Hingwanama Bada Hingwanama, Hingwanama Bada Hingwanama, Hingwanama Bada Hingwanama, Hingwanama Bada Night And the spirit of life Calling Mamela the voice, just the fear of a child, answers, I love my little love, he lives in you, Hella, 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 he lives in me, Hella, 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 he watches us. way to end an adventure. Dancing, singing, good friends, and the glory of nature. Well, I guess I better get back to work. Yep, new contraptions to invent, new devices to build. Oh, what the hey? There's always tomorrow, right? I think I'll just crawl under a leaf and stay with some of my relatives here at the Animal Kingdom. Thanks for joining us. Oh, and, uh, goodbye. From the day we arrived on this planet And blinking step into the sun There's more to see than can never be seen More to do than can ever be done There's far too much to take in here 
more to find than can ever be found. But the sun rolling high through the sapphire sky keeps great and small on the endless round. Yeah.